Presumably, the uh, the next step is to try to identify where that magnetic sense lies. We've been taking tissue from different parts of the head and looking at it to see if it's magnetic. And then uh, John Kenner in the zoology department here has been cutting sections of the bits that are magnetic to see if we can see anything that looks like magnetite there. Well, don't leave me in suspense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm enjoying this. Well, and yes, we've got a picture. Uh, we found that right where we predicted there is a magnetic area. When we put it in the machine, we find that it's magnetic. So in there, in the bone that's the sinuses in there, just three or four centimetres in, it's magnetic. And then when you cut sections of the bone, uh, you see running all under the surface of the bone, just beneath the surface of the bones of those sinuses, there's iron. The discovery of particles of iron in the skull has just been announced to the scientific world, lending powerful support to the belief that has long been resisted that man too has an inbuilt magnetic compass.